Hello, welcome back to part 23 of this video tutorial How to build a Pac-Man game in XNA Please don't forget to buy the content Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com We send the content in 24 hours to your email address Now we have finished our background image with our map builder tool it's time to build the background class in our Pac-Man game and the first thing we need to do is switch back to our Pac-Man game so right click and set it as your started project and now I want to set the preferred back buffer width and height first so we're gonna do that in the game class of the Pac-Man game and we're gonna do that in the constructor so let's do that here. Set the preferred back buffer width and height. And we're going to use here the graphics preferred back buffer width. And it's 448. And the graphics preferred back buffer height, and that's 576. And now we need to apply the changes. So, just like this. Alright. And now I want to create the game state. So, go to the enum class. And we're going to create the game stage just here. So, public enum game states. And we have three of them. And the first one is end. We have a game and an intro. Alright. in a game state alright and now we have built the game state we can implement it in the game class and the first thing we need to do is to define the game state so let's do that in the public section it's a public static game states and we call it game states right represents the game states all right and now we have defined the game states we need to set the game states and we're going to do that in the initialize method so set the game state or set the default game state so we can say here game state is equals to the game state and we're gonna set it now for now on game right and now we can go to the update method and we're going to say here that if game state is equals to game state dot game all right Scan. All right, and we can do now the same in the draw method. And the first thing here I want to do is say clear the screen, and we're going to clear the screen 
with another color. I'm going to use the black color here. Alright, so, and now we can say here if game state is equals to game state dot game. Alright. That's the game state for now. So now we're going to build the background class. So go to project, add class, and we call it the background.cs. And the first thing we're going to do is copy the using block from the object class, just like this. Right, and it's a public class, so, and we need a texture. So let's define here a private texture 2D, and we call it the background texture. All right, represent the background texture. Right, and that's on the private variable. Okay, now we need the constructor, so public backgrounds, and we leave it empty for now. And in a later tutorial, we're going to implement the background flashing, but that is for a later tutorial. So the background constructor. Constructor. And now we need the load content. So let's build that here, and that's a public void load content, and we need the content manager. And we're going to load here our background texture, so load the background texture. And that's the background texture, it's contents.load, we're going to load a texture 2D. And now we need our background texture. So go to your background texture on your PC, and I have mine here, and we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it in our Pac-Man game content project in our sprites directory. Right? Just like this. So we have a background white. So we can say here sprites and it's the background white. Just like this. Right? And that's the load the content for the backgrounds. And that's the content manager. Load content. And now we need to draw the background, so let's build that function now, public void draw, 
And we need the sprite pads. And now we can draw our background with sprite pads dot draw. And we're gonna draw our background texture. And our location it's a new factor too. And we're gonna draw it on zero forty-eight. So we're going to use the first three rows for our our score and high score. And the color it's blue. Alright. Draw the backgrounds. background class we can implement our background class so let's do that in our game class and the first thing we need to do is define the background so we're going to do that in the public section so it's a public static background and we call it the backgrounds represents the background objects. All right, and now we need to create the background object, and we're gonna do that in the constructor. So just here, create the background object. So we can say here, background is new background. Alright, now we need to load the content for the background. So in the content load content methods, we can say here load content for the background. And you can say here background is load content. And we passed the content. Right? And now we need to draw the background. So let's go to the draw methods. And we're going to do that just here in the game section. And we're going to use a different sprite bed. So sprite bed begin and sprite bed dot ends. And here we can say backgrounds dot draw, and we need to pass the sprite pads, right? Draw the backgrounds on the screen, right? Just like this. So let's see how it looks. Wow. It's just like a game. I'm going to finish the tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to start with implementing the tile collision. So Pac Man cannot walk everywhere where he wants, but stay exactly in the maze. Alright? I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.